scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Watch this. So he went with them and as they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. Verse 5. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into water and he said alas master it was a sincere journey for expansion i didn't intend to be in this trouble the trouble i have with the bank today was simply because i intended to enlarge the challenges i'm having today is because i intended to enlarge but thank god for the prophetic he carried the prophetic along to his place of breakthrough and then verse 6 alas master it was borrowed and the man of god said have no fear while you were on your journey you carried the prophetic along now that you are in trouble do not fear the prophetic is a bailout system to bring you out of that tragedy and the prophet said where fell it and he showed him the place where is the place where you are sick show the prophet the place where is the business ailing you he said right here where is the area of concern the prophetic is asking you by the spirit tonight where is the area that doors have not been opened he pointed the place is my finances that's why i asked you to put your prayer request together where fell it please help that lady just so that you don't the prophetic said where fell it Tonight, God is asking you again through the prophetic. Man of God, where fell that battle axe? The axe that you were supposed to use for the next level. Where fell it? And he said right here. And he took a stick, an insignificant formula, and threw it there. And the axe head began to float. And he said, pick it up. Tonight, please hear me. This will be our final encounter together. The Lord has brought the city together, many of you from region to region, state to state. Please, I like for your heart to be open. In this place right now, the Lord is going to be healing the sick. In this place, the Lord is going to be delivering people. There are destinies that have been held under captivity for a long time. It's time to be released. And hear me. There are graces, there are mantles, there are unctions that have been searching for some of you for many years. God has sent me tonight by His Spirit. Some of you have tasted of the power and the grace of God in a measure. It's time to rise higher. Ye have encompassed this mountain long enough. It's time to move higher. Are you ready to pray? Fire from heaven, fall upon my destiny. Let things begin to change and shift in my life. Go ahead and pray.
stand if you can please pay attention I want you to listen to me listen to me this man standing before you what you see and hear tonight is the privilege of an election of grace please no distraction listen hear me one day i became tired of religion i became tired of church i became tired of seeing the sick go back sick the oppressed go back oppressed when that happened i began to seek the lord in prayer loving him and saying lord if you desire to use me as a man of god do not send me with only a sermon send me with a grace and send me with an anointing that can bring the nations salvation hope and healing and deliverance listen my hunger i was not looking for ministry when i started my journey with god i was not looking for fame not ministry not even anointing i wanted him that was all i wanted if you must find true power in this kingdom the formula must be restored in the beginning god not in the beginning ministry not in the beginning signs and wonders he must become the object of your pursuit and one night the lord jesus christ came into my room pay attention and when he came to my room i was standing there before his majesty i have seen him i don't just believe him i know that he's alive hear me when jesus stood before me majestic in beauty and splendor i was like a piece of rag on the ground i know what isaiah said when he said whoa oh, i am undone a man of unclean lips when i saw jesus i knew that many preachers did not know him it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter now listen please right from that place he stretched his right hand towards me and light at his brilliance came and entered me and when that light entered me in another encounter the lord told me he said son from today i give you my presence as a gift then i see this angel standing before me and he said this will work with you i said what is his name he said he's called the angel of the lord's presence this is why you see some of these manifestations that you see and hear me the Lord gave me several mandates that I've been ob obedient to. But one of them that must happen tonight, listen carefully. He said, every city and every nation that I send you to, there must be someone in that place that the light that came from me to you, that same light must be transferred to them. Listen to me. This does not happen to everyone but i can tell you i have been obedient to this call from nation to nation city to city i know there has to be someone in this place this night who has hungered and said lord i know you are calling me for such a time as this i'm tired of just having sermons there has to be a grace the global harvest is a reality but it cannot happen just with cheap talk our possibilities are defined by the kind and the level of grace that is upon us 
hear me yola you are immersed in such a dense atmosphere of his presence and his power and anything that does not name the name of christ is about to leave yeah. hallelujah help that man about to leave you will never 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 be the same please listen to me i bring you a superior dimension i bring you a wine that was brewed by the spirit himself this is not a preacher coming to preach no you think like that you will not receive anything it's an election of grace there is a throne that backs the things that you see so very quickly we're going to begin to pray please just help those under the anointing whether you are an usher or not now is the time where you'll be your brother's keeper i want to pray what will happen to you tonight this man that man lifting his hands sir shout jesus as loud as you can In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. That name you have called, I'm seeing fire just come on you. And the Lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that fire shift you to a new season. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yola, are you ready tonight? Lift your voice in one minute. Everything you desire to happen in your life, begin to speak it. Declare. Let's have all the prayer requests, please. outside so that there's no commotion and all of you who are by the edge up here please be careful i want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of christ in the name of jesus is time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that is the name that has been lifted above every other name hear me yola at the shout of that name if god be god everything sitting on anyone's destiny that is not of the christ it must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus
Just help those under the anointing. We don't have space for them here. Every altar, the Bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross. I decree and declare every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. We uproot it now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My goodness, our time. Who is Godia? Godia, I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is that? I'm hearing a name, Godia. Please, we do not have all the time. If you're here and the Lord mentions your case or your name. Huh? Hold on. What do you have to do with song? Local government. Where are you coming from? That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Do I know you? Have I ever seen you? I want to pray for you. Why are they here? Hallelujah. Please don't come out at random. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. I stretch my hands. The power of God is coming upon you. And I decree and declare shame and reproach. Let it live your life right now. In the name of Jesus, over, forever, help her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, who is Paul? Paul. Paul, who is that? Paul, you are wearing like a milk kaftan. Paul, is there someone like that? Who is that? What is your name? Where's the mic? Huh? My name is Paul, sir. From where? I stand. Come. Paul, God is about to change your life, my friend. What do you do? Huh? I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will pray for you. There is a grace for entrepreneurship on you. And it may not look like it now, but the Lord is turning you. He will transform you in a very remarkable way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring for me. There is a gentleman, not a lady, a gentleman. He will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. Please bring him for me very quickly. I need to pray for him before we pray for the sick. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, let seasons change over your life. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, a change of season. You will never be the same. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me please. There is a gentleman, the power of God is coming on. Please bring him. Your name is Paul too. What's your name? Danjuma. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Let there be a miracle for you. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus. I am the Lord is showing me a woman. All the ladies in that family. This is what I'm saying in my vision. None of them have been able to have a child. Who is that? I want to pray for you. Please don't just come out at random. This is a vision God is showing me. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you now. It's time for God to turn your morning into dancing. What do you do? Huh? You are a pastor where? Huh? He didn't think. I want to pray for you. you. You look at me. Look at me. Your life will never be the same. You will begin to walk strongly in the healing anointing. Amen. Take that grace now. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this gentleman by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord himself show you mercy and lift you. Even to higher grounds by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord the family if you are not here no problem we'll just I want to pray for the sick all I'm seeing the ladies no fruitfulness at all is that is there someone like that don't tell lies come where are you from where is she from? who knows huh? Madagani. Huh? Madagani. Madagani. is there somewhere like that 
okay how many are you? how many are you your family are you married of us are married no children yes look at me you're going to have a baby boy The prophetic does not only reveal it creates it makes what has no business happening to happen by the authority of jesus i want to pray for you and your sisters huh maimuna maimuna i don't know why i'm getting this name maimuna we have to redeem the time and pray for the sick maimuna i'm hearing a name maimuna father in the name of jesus you have shown me concerning this lady i prophesy upon you and i prophesy memuna you are wearing maroon you are coming from outside outside this memuna is not in the auditorium outside this side in fact outside there who is that where are you coming from i'm from your uh, 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 where in are you yes I your, is, she, is she coming from the person i saw was coming from outside where, where were you? Yeah. Outside. Outside. My dear, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a politician. Do you know why I called you? Because it may look like what you are doing is not making sense. But the way God is going to lift you, it will surprise many people. I'm not a politician, no. I'm a man of God. But you see there is a kingmaker anointing kingmakers don't become kings themselves but they can enthrone and remove kings politicians do politics with integrity do politics if you're a politician here i beckon on you by the message of god the era of just siphoning resources let's stop this thing and serve god's people with sincerity it doesn't matter what political position no matter how much you steal, is this same stomach, this is the limit of what you can take. We must restore integrity in governance. Hallelujah. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven show you mercy. I place grace upon your life. And I provoke the meaning. Receive the grace. Now, I set you on fire. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. I want to pray for the sick now our time is gone my dear okay i call her out in jesus name just place your hand on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle ah, now let it be over by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ every devil gives way now mm. the authority that is in the name of jesus the key of David that can open a door that no man shuts and can shut a door this lady I'm seeing the grace that was on Esther on you you this lady come you this one with come up where are you coming from huh? I want to pray for you listen God will put you in palaces and before kings. It will surprise you what God will do. I'm saying it in the open. There is a grace that enthrones. Have you not been seeing it in your dreams? You saw it in your dreams. You were even telling somebody. Who were you telling? Your husband. Come. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Yes. wonder walking power of Jesus what do you do sir pastor. you're a pastor I want to pray for you the grace that was on Esther is on your wife God will grant her access to systems and structures I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that wine in the name of Jesus I set you on fire may that grace begin to speak that anointing is coming on you now take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ and for you may God help you in ministry my friend 
the Lord is showing you mercy. Amen. Look at me. God is sending financial helpers. Amen. Sending financial helpers. It will be like a dream. God will just turn everything around for you. In Jesus name. Amen. Can I pray for the sick now? Amen. Now please listen. Please listen to the instruction inside and outside. I'm about to pray for the sick now. We will let the devil know once again that Jesus is still Lord over your life. Hallelujah. Many of you already, please, these ones, if they are alright, they can clear the way so that some of us. Now, when I pray for the sick, we are going to do this very quickly. We are out of time. As soon as I pray and rebuke that devil, the power of God is going to come upon you. There will be miracles here. Please let me have maybe one or two of the pastors and I'll because we are going to call a few people who we are going to call a few people who have been healed. We'll just take a few testimonies. After that, I will pray on this and then we'll do the impartation. Please be patient tonight and let the Lord visit this city. Hallelujah. Now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Everyone, inside and outside, and you who is following from your home or from whatever nation of the earth. I'd like you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Jesus, something special, supernatural about you. Jesus, something listen miracles are real and i'm about to pray for you now take your eyes away whether you're on a wheelchair whether you're on crutches whether you're on a stretcher whether you have a medical report that is a death sentence i'm about to pray just look on to jesus right now and i want you to agree with me as i pray are you ready in the name of jesus christ Shout a louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady is going to shout loud to the hearing of everyone under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Now, in the name of Jesus. I command every devil of infirmity leave right now every devil of infirmity inside and outside I come by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name that is above all names every devil of infirmity leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone who is sick be healed now my god mighty miracles are happening be healed now everyone on a wheelchair everyone using crutches lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blind eye, partial blindness, total blindness, be open now. Every deaf ear be open now. I'm seeing someone with the issue of blood, whether it's your circle or not, you have the issue of blood with severe pain. I'm praying right now. Go and check yourself. The power of God is touching you right now. Amen. There's someone with severe pain around the limbs. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Every growth, lump around the breast area, fibroids, every devil, I declare that it leaves you right now. There's someone with a severe case of migraine very severe case of migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Amen. 
your left eye does not see well but after this prayer i want you to check it right now sugar diabetes is being healed now the lord is healing i'm seeing hepatitis b be healed now in the name of jesus christ high blood pressure be healed now pile pile the lord is healing pile in fact for one of you it's a severe case of pile be healed now there's someone you have i don't know if it's a boil or a growth around your armpit here after the prayer i want you to check it right now you will not find it again hotness severe heat around the body in the name of jesus be healed right now now for someone it started like it was malaria but till now you feel severe pains around your joints whether you are sick or not the power of god is touching you right now there's someone here with hiv you had a dream and you saw like a dog pursuing you and it's like it beat you and you woke up and started having symptoms of hiv i cursed that devil of hiv right now every trace of cancer here be healed right now in jesus name marvelous miracles are happening here someone you could not shift your neck right now i'd like you to check it the power of god has touched you you will find out that there's no pain in fact i'm seeing someone outside i don't know what happened to your sense of smell you couldn't i don't know if you lost it or whatever it is that happened but right now the power of god is touching you and you will find out that your sense of smell is restored in the name of jesus christ you had an accident i don't know if it was a fracture or something around your left leg the power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing someone is like you've had Qatar, but it does not seem to go. This has lasted for a long time and it remains like that. You can't even inhale properly. Most times when you sleep, you're breathing through your mouth. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Amen. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. Some of you already right from yesterday, the Lord had healed you. Some of you who came under the anointing here, right now be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is an elderly woman here. You have a problem breathing. You are unable to breathe properly. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke asthma. someone the kind of pain you feel when you have weak load you are ex you've been experiencing that pain around your fingers but right now as i pray for you the power of god is touching you yeah. now hear me inside outside all of the overflows outside right to the gate and beyond and then those following online i seal your miracle right now i'm about to give you an opportunity to check yourself and we are going to celebrate miracles here. Amen. Now, only those who have Amen. been healed by the power of God, please check them. The power of God has touched you. I want you to check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Some of you, whilst you were under the anointing, as you came up, everything there's been healing, inside or outside. I want you to run. There will be a pastor here or here to just have them file up and then we'll take a few testimonies very quickly before the prayer session and then the inter impartation check yourself right now are you celebrating miracles people are coming my god check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself do what you couldn't do before people are coming adamawa are you celebrating miracles those coming from outside please allow them confirm them and then we'll take a few testimonies some of you may need to go out and use the restroom some of you are outside do what you couldn't do before lord you reign and you rule over all unto you we ascribe all the praise lord you reign and you rule Lion of Judah, raise. Lion 
can we take a few testimonies listen as many just check yourself and keep coming but let's take a few that we have here who is who is helping who is Maybe we may need a mic. This is the one he couldn't motivate to be got for last over two years ago, and now he check your what's your name? Help, help him, please. Place. Hold on, Victor. Help them, please. Get another mic. Get another mic for us. Get another mic. Look at this. Look at this. Come. Are you seeing this? This is how long has this been? Almost one month. One month, you see it eating up and it has refused to heal. My brother, look at me. You believe in the anointing? Yes. You believe in miracles? In the name of Jesus, I bring you life now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed. Amen. Let that wound dry up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Who is the next? You don't have to. From where you are, you can just testify before we bring them out. My friend, your, your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Let's take them one by one so that here it's not rowdy. Okay. Last year, January. Last year, January. Leave him, leave him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold leave on. him, leave him. What's wrong? Stroke. Stroke. He could not walk. Yes. Walk. Come. Go. 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 Come. Go. 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 Come. Gradually, gradually. Don't force him. In the name of Jesus, look at this. Could he do this before? Who came with him? Nobody knows. You are his wife. Could he do this before? My God, come on, come on, Yola. For three years, my friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. I cursed that devil. Now, go! Now! In the name of Jesus. Now, look at what is happening. Look at his hand. Look at this. Look at this. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Every devil, I cost you. Lift your legs. Go ahead. Gradually. 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 Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let there be miracles right now. The Lord perfects you in Jesus' name. Please, let's not be rowdy. Let's not be rowdy. God bless you. Take it easy. Please coordinate them. Don't just bring them out. We'll do it this way. We'll just alternate. Maybe once or two. Who brought these guys out? Why are they here? Very quickly, help us, please. Praise hold on, hold on. Yes. Lord. Please hold on, hold on. Let's be orderly. I've been having this pain Can you help us with the mic? What's your my, name? My praise. Praise. praise yes. What happened? I've been having this severe pain for years. It comes and goes. Pain. Hey. Many times I've been How long? Standing for almost seven years. Almost now. seven years. Yes. If I go and scan, they will say, just go and drink more water. I'm tired of scanning. Even last two weeks, I went to hospital. Uh, right now, what happened to you? Check yourself. Press Check. Thing. Press it. Any pain. Any pain. Ah. Is this how you celebrate miracles in your life? My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus, once I pray for you, you can go back to your seat. Look at me, my dear. I'm here to pray for you. I stretch my hands. That pain never returns again. I cause out now. In the name of Jesus. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Okay, I pray for you already. Yes, Grace for you. Young man, look at me. God is going to use you. Huh? Stand up. I decree and declare, may the help of God come upon you and through you to your family. I release that grace upon you right now. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Yes, please. I can't breathe for two years, but now I can breathe. You Some... couldn't breathe for two years? Yes, sir. Breathe in and out. <laughs> Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Pile. Pile. For how long? For more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years? Yes, sir. And right now, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on. Nana kaka sunanka, ubai kiti kaisa. Yes, please. Sir, 
I What's your name? Please help us with this mic. Can it be louder than this? I don't know who it is or give us. Hold on, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Medas Clement. I've been having problems with my legs. I with your legs? This one. Yes. What yes. couldn't you do? I couldn't even raise it. Like you couldn't raise it? Years. For more than how many years? 15 years. 15 years. Jump. Outside. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Take it easy. Go ahead. Oh, you couldn't raise it. If I stand for a while, it was Hold on. Where were you standing? You, you could not even step. Okay, walk now. Any pain? Any pain? Lift it now. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. That grace is on you. Bringing you perfection. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Desmond, sir. My God, are you seeing since, the miracles happening since here? Since 2018, sir, I've been having chest pain and waist pain after having a dream that I'm fighting with a demon. And after waking up, I found reality that is walking over my back. And right now, what happened? Right now, I'm feeling nothing. Bend down. Sir. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? What's your name? Desmond, Come on, sir. give Jesus praise. A miracle for Desmond. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I bring you life and I bring you healing in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Who's the next person? Hold on, please. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll have to redeem the time. Yes, please. My name is Atali Peter. Can you be loud? My name Anyone is, on behind my, the mic? My please name be is Atali Peter. Okay. I've been having this pain on my joint for, for more than six months now. More than six months. Yes. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. By the power of the Holy Ghost, never returns. Sir, let me hear this woman, please. My name is Florida Edmond. Okay. When you said a woman with difficulty, in, an elderly woman with difficulty in breathing. Yes. I quickly answered, and from there, before I cannot even trek from here to where you are. You couldn't trek from there to this place? Yes. And right now? You came in yourself. Hold on. She's trying to say something. I have been on oxygen for a very long time. You have been on oxygen? Yes. Hold on. Huh? You are a doctor. You know her. Oh, you are a doctor. Come, 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 come. My goodness. You are her doctor. Oh my God, look at this. Doctor, she's been on oxygen truly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has been in and out, in and out of hospital several years. Madam, breathe in and out. Let the devil see you do this. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. I stretch my hands. Perfection to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You all celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's see if we can take a few more. Go ahead. Next, please, very quickly. My name very is, quickly. My name is Mary. I'm the one having issue with nose. I couldn't pass it anything. Since you couldn't pass it anything? Yes. For how long? Since I was born. Since you were born? Yes, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it anything. Is any of your family member here? No. I now you can smell something. Yes. What I did you smell? Your perfume. Yes, and hepatitis B. Yes. Hold on. I, I wish they can be a bit loud so that we we'll take. Um, I know there are many miracles. We may not be able to take everything. We might just choose maybe three or four more so that we can head quickly for the next. Okay, you couldn't smell anything. Yes, and when you mention hepatitis B, I'm having issue with it. Last two years, I tested it. You so tested. Yes. Don't worry. Now you can smell. Hold on. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this sense of smell. What is happening to mama? I'm seeing her walk. She couldn't walk. Oh, severe headache. Okay. Huh? She's suffering from stroke too. She's suffering from stroke. She's suffering from stroke. She's severe headache, so the headache has left her Mama. Okay, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. 
my name is Dora. Come on, Yola. Come on, Yola. Come on, Yola. Where are these my favorite guys now? Before we end this service, we must do a one minute praise. So, you gentlemen, get ready. One minute. Hold on, hold on, not now. When we are done, we pray on this. After the impartation, one minute, we must let the devil know that joy has returned in this environment. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Dora Alba. I suffered from migraine since I was in primary school. Oh so it God. came, started last. Let her go now. <laughs> Out now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you again. Yes, please. I'm Damaris Kokoji. Yes, ma'am. I have stroke and diabetes, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. For God's sake, you, you see how demonic and evil and wicked Satan can be? Stroke, diabetes, hypertension. Hypertension. And then lumbar problem. And then lumbar problem. What happened to you tonight? The headache that I was feeling, it is every time, but now. Mama, look has. at me. Look at me. Lift your legs. Yeah. Go ahead. Just lift your legs. Take it easy. Symptoms of stroke. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord perfect what he started right now. Yeah. I stretch my hands and I bring you life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mama, look at me. Hold on. Lift this hand and put it down. Bring it down. Lift it. Bring it down. Lift it. Bring it down, lift it. Bring it down, lift it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this that the Lord has begun, let him perfect it right now. Headache, stroke, and what what other what did she mention again? Diabetes and lumbar problem and hypertension. Aye. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, next person, very quickly. Um, we may just have two or three and then we're done please we'll, I'll, all the rest i'll pray for you what will happen is that you can you can come and share maybe on a sunday service you can register your testimonies and you can still share them even though i know that there may be people coming from all over the body of christ but you can also take these testimonies to your various assemblies yes please my name is Bobby simon i came with a lump in my armpit but now it's gone you came with a lump check it now it's gone completely yes sir the same way this disappeared, everything that must leave your life, I command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you healing and perfection. Never returns in Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Moses William. I've been having migraine for three weeks now. And before I came here, it's as if my head, my head want to remove. I immediately you caught my grim. I fell under the power of the Holy Ghost outside. You were outside. Yes, sir. And now, now I'm free. Gone forever. Amen. Free today, free forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Uh, let's just let us be the last person there. I'm so sorry. After Praise this, we'll now hold on. Don't drive them back. No, let them stand. I have to pray for them. All of look at the long queue right till outside. Look at what Jesus is doing here. Yes, please. Yeah, praise God. My name is NSCDK. You mentioned my case. I was sitting outside there. That those you see the uh, outside people again? Uh, problem of the left leg. And I happen to have one. You have? Oh, I'm seeing. The yes. bandage. Yes. And I've been... What happened to you? Sincerely, I don't know. I went home. I came back. I started having the pains. Since then, it has really cost me so much. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Imo State, but I walked here. Okay. Mm. And you could not walk? No, I'm walking, but I spent too much on it. It refused to go? I know it will go. Uh -uh. Yeah. Answer me. Before now. Yes. What is it a boil? Is it what does is it a wound? I can't even say. That. Just pain like that. But I know I step on something. You step on something? Yes. Every demonic thing. Planted and programmed around your life. I call upon the God of heaven. He takes it out of your life now. My friend, look at me. I pray for you. This demonic thing, I curse it by the God of heaven. Amen. Now, 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. It dries up and that pain, that swelling, that discomfort leaves your life now and it leaves your life forever. Amen. Now, for all the so many miracles inside and outside and those of you who could not have the time to testify, Lord, we give you glory for it. We decree and declare that you will be glorified and for all of you who have received these miracles, they remain permanent in your life. Amen. And for those who you stood in for because some of you have sick people some in hospitals some in various places i agree with you right now that in jesus name you will return back and you will meet testimonies waiting for you <laughs> hallelujah god bless you now please all of you you're going to stretch your hands now there is a covenant of answered prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of your desires even when we prophesy we do so in part because we are limited even when we pray for the sick the time will not even allow us to do justice to everyone as should be but this is both a token of your faith a representation of your expectation listen to me there is a God that answers prayer I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways. Um, I had the honor and the privilege some months ago to be alone in Baba Deboe's prayer room. And while I was there, I lay down. The only thing I said was, God, the covenant of answered prayer that you have given this man through the years. I respect and I honor that anointing. Let it also come upon me. So that everyone I pray for and everyone I declare upon. In addition to that which you have given upon my life. Let this grace speak. And God heard me. You've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. It is true. We are not the inventors of this grace. It's a relay. We also received it. I have read through history many years ago a man of God was going to pray for me who had had the opportunity of meeting with a few of the generals before they went to be with the Lord and here's what he told me he said Smith Wiggles were told Lester Sumro he said when you get old make sure you do not die with this anointing he said find young men and transfer this grace unto them we are recipients of this grace nobody invents the anointing it's a relay in one of my encounters I had this man come to me in my vision and he was talking with me and I was listening profound wisdom and when he turned he was about leaving I was calling him and I said, Sir, you did not tell me your name. And he stopped and turned back to look at me. And he said, Paul. Listen, I didn't always walk in the prophetic in this dimension. I'm a product of many anointings. But I will tell you one of the stories. One night, late in the night, I was watching William Branham. And it was an interview. And I was just soaking in the presence of God. You know, people have criticized the man, castigated him, said all kinds of things because of a few limitations at the end of his ministry. And I, I saw the purity and the heart and the sincerity of that man most people will not stand for one year if they carry one tenth of the anointing that was on that man they will not even have the stamina to stand and i said lord but this man he served you with all his heart and suddenly from the screen of my laptop a cold sensation from that screen upon my head and it started going down 
over a period of 30 minutes and the moment that happened it just ceased by the next meeting I would go to the heavens opened in a strange way we have been given this baton also we are products of many anointings are you getting what I'm telling you when your father the bishop stands here he speaks so much about the Archbishop Benson Idahosa and the impact is hard nobody invents this grace Idahosa himself was a student of T.L. Osborne and a student of those who went ahead of him listen to me I shared with you my encounter in the Renhard Bonke crusade we are products of many anointings in as much as I have met Jesus and I received an impartation directly from him it still did not stop the supplies of the body this is why there is no boasting because all that you see today is an election of grace we're getting into the next prophetic five or ten minutes to wrap up my session here and I'm going to bow my knees like Paul said for this cause I Paul I bow my knees to our father the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and all I want you to do is to stretch your hands in agreement as we crush the gates of darkness that everything your personal spiritual life could not fight there is a covenant you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. stretch your hands towards this request and begin to declare that these Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever no you don't have to kneel please you just stand let me do the kneeling for you is someone praying open doors enlargement next levels lands territories spiritual fire There used to be a song many years ago every time we were in an attitude of prayer we used to sing that song many years ago it says Gia do water agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. this is not your best in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. I bow my knees before the God of my covenant oh speak from the heavens and the earth will be all speak from the Lord and I'll be here from the earth my altar is calling oh God my worship is calling Oh, 
la masha la crede beketike parusia shkane melanda skada braske de balahas ke de brende ke de melekush en grekete maragada branda gada la katoshia ske de belekete karia ata branda ske de balakash rakata bakada branda ke de proska de la katusha la pa en bania akasha la skada brende skali porusia shakate bereka tonka mika branda gada balia Hear me. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare every request tabled here before God, even upon this altar, we turn it from a request to an answered prayer. We turn it from a request to an answered prayer. says over his dead body for this request may the earth open and swallow them every human agent that must be used by God to bring to pass the answers to this prayer we compel them to respond now hear me every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the lord right now we declare by the power of the holy spirit it bows now yeah. hear me for some of you before you reach home the answers here will reach home before you believe me believe me Hear me. I stand prophetically upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under your feet. 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 And if our God is for us, then no could ever stop us. And if our God is with us, after you pack all these requests there is no reading it god has read it you set them on fire somewhere and discard them please don't just put them in a bin just set it on fire to respect everyone's privacy but in the name of jesus i stand in faith with our bishop alongside the veterans of the gospel here represented as a united church over yola over adamawa over the east the northeast we decree and declare that every request here will never return as a request again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please let me have your attention. I want to do the impartation now. Listen. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Listen. An impartation is not just laying on of hands. You can hands can be laid on you and nothing transferred to you. He said, The things that thou hast received from us, commit thou to faithful men who will commit to others also. Every time, listen carefully. There are three ways to receive impartation. Number one, directly from God through an encounter. Number two, there are results and impartations that come when you align with covenants. You don't have to meet the individuals. The covenants that represent the institution or the platforms that they are under, you can come under that covering and you receive certain levels of possibilities and impartations. But the third is when God gives you an opportunity and a privilege to encounter 
the careers of this grace in the office to downplay on the graces and the sacrifices that are here there are bishops apostles and prophets and some of you who were not even introduced mighty battle axes scattered across not potentially god is even using you maybe even greater than some of us so standing here to minister does not necessarily mean the greatest or the best it is an election of grace and we must be matured and not ashamed to recognize this but can i tell you this you will never receive from a colleague there has to be that spiritual potential difference and without all contradiction the bible says the less is blessed these graces are not graces that we invented we have so received from men and women who have gone ahead many years ago i was preaching in a pfn crusade in kano and i called this woman out i think she came to testify of a miracle she had received she was speaking house and this woman was an intercessor she finishes her bible every 15 days ah, i've not done that one no. i said who is this house her bible cover to cover that one is a grace I was almost kneeling down to say before MOG destroys me let me humble myself and receive first before I continue can I tell you you know the grace walking by the testimonies that recycle around your life that one anointes my head with oil but I see the result in what happens in my cup you don't anoint my cup if my cup is empty don't blame the cup it is what is on my head if I want my cup to overflow, then what is on my head must overflow. Listen to me. Every possibility in this kingdom is governed by a grace dimension. There is a dimension of engracing and empowerment. Speed has a grace. The prophetic has a grace. Revelation and access to the mysteries of the spirit has a grace. Influence has a grace. Favor has a grace. That was the grace, the anointing that was upon Esther. And within the next five minutes before we round up, I know that our time is gone. But listen to me. I believe that God sent me here through the awesome invitation of the angel over this house and a father over many within this city, our bishop and his precious wife, that under this corporate anointing, if you believe many of you have seen this day in dreams and visions many of you the same way a doctor diagnoses a patient and says there is deficiency of calcium we can know the deficiency by the inability to produce certain spiritual results you are a man of God with a strong teaching grace but there is no performance no results in terms of signs and wonders you are a man of God, graced with signs and wonders, but the opportunity, the access to wisdom to understand doctrine and communicate the same with intelligence is not there. Some of you are anointed in as much as ministry requires, but the fortitude for effective leadership is not there. Now please, all those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. But remember I told you, the Lord Jesus gave you an instruction. Everywhere I travel, there must be someone that that light that came from him to me. I am a product of many anointings. And within the next two, three minutes as we run, please open up your heart. And something is about to happen to you. Father, I stretch my hands joining faith with our bishop alongside the servants of God that are here represented. You have shown me mercy, you have shown me grace. I have tasted of this wine of the Spirit and with it you have granted grace to work wonders for your name. I pray. I'm seeing an eagle. This is a representation of the prophetic. Right now, Everyone here, 
who must drink of this wine the wine of the prophetic many of you here those dimensions are virgin dimensions help them at the count of three inside outside anyone here who should walk in the prophetic one two three take that grace take that grace I unlock the fountain of the prophetic the eyes that see and the ears that hear take it now help this man in the name of Jesus Christ take it inside outside the balcony everywhere in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for speed is coming on people now there has been delay and retrogression in ministry and in life but in the name of Jesus take the grace for speed help them please help this man take the grace for speed run like Elijah run like Elijah overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I take 10 years and I put it in one month in the name of Jesus Christ there are some of you here who are uniquely called into the ministry of signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of power i'm seeing the number 24 24 people lord where are they i stretch my hands at the count of three may that grace from heaven rest upon you now one my god two three take that grace take that grace Take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. There are two men of God here. The minister stand. I'm seeing I just saw fire come upon you. Kariza di Alahasia. Bendeke Barus Kiata. The name of Jesus Christ. Help them, please. Help them. Take that grace. of revelation many of you have desired access to scripture the opening of your eyes to see ay, 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 ay. i've seen many people drink of this wine in the name of jesus take that grace now the miracle of open eyes access to the mysteries of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ a depth of comprehension by the spirit of the living god hallelujah bishop sir with all due respect i'm seeing our mother i just saw oil being poured on the woman of god i saw oil and the lord told me that there is a grace for favor that is putting upon our mother and upon anyone she prays for this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace let it be as declared by the mouth of the Lord that that grace and that unction for favor coming upon your mother in the Lord, the wife of our bishop, in addition to every grace that she carries, Ma, by the privilege of the election of grace I speak to you, may that oil truly come upon you. Now, you drink of that well in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. That grace. I want to pray for you. There are many of you that need to carry the grace it takes favor also to experience enlargement exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 we're wrapping up exodus 3 sir you're a pastor here i want to pray for you the lord is bringing speed to your life speed that before the end of 2021 sir the things that you will do will even surprise you and the Lord says he's bringing you into a season of reward. In the name of Jesus, speak to you, sir. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I empower your feet to run. 
in the name of Jesus I empower your feet to run by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ Esther 321 oh there I thought we had it projected please help us our time is up read with me please one to read and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go you know that there is favor on your life when your hand stops being empty i pray for you in the name of jesus the kind of favor you have never seen i stand in faith with our father the bishop and i declare take that favor now there are churches that will have land that you did not buy with your money the god of heaven is arising to give it to you you step into prepared blessings in the name of jesus christ and hear me every grace that you have seen that your heart so desires i stretch my hands by the privilege of the election of grace i decree and declare access to kings access to systems and structures may that grace come upon you now everyone here who is saying apostle i cannot leave this meeting without jesus while i heard you speak i realize and i recognize that i need jesus please no movement there are some of you outside you are saying apostle i came for this conference now turn crusade and i need jesus we have two minutes our time is up please if you are here before I leave this city, I want to stand with you as we make that declaration for Jesus. I am going to count one to five. Those who are coming from outside, please allow them. In as much as they are coming just for salvation. I will count one to five. Run like there's fire on the mountain. You come and stand here right now. One. You are running to Jesus. Don't sit back. Let's celebrate them as they come. From inside, outside. You need Jesus. stand up for space three are you coming please rush 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 quickly Satan come come to Jesus come to Jesus come to Jesus come to Jesus Nina yesterday Bazan coma Bazan coma Nina yesterday Bazan coma Bazan coma Jesus Yola is calling you, he's giving you a new beginning. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, all of you who are standing here, and you who is following in your homes, following everywhere, here is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. The Bible declares, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life listen to me i salute every one of you for making this bold declaration i want you to lift your right hand high to heaven listen you are not just reciting a poem jesus is here and ensure that this decision you make is true is lasting is sincere all of you who are here in front shout this loud after me say lord jesus Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you. That you are the son of God. I receive Jesus. Tonight, 
as my savior as my lord and as my king i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign forever i am a recipient of the life of god i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell of the grave is broken over my life from today i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven father i decree and declare let this be a new beginning for these people you will never return to yesterday again in jesus name according to the authority of scriptures you are recipients of eternal life and from today until forever in the name of jesus we call you sons and daughters of light the grace to live victorious in your christian life may that grace be released upon you finally i commend you to the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of the word for your establishment and your maturity in righteousness in the name of jesus christ amen and amen is there anywhere they are going to or they return to their seats okay now i know there are a number of you where, where what's the direction okay now please all of you here who came to make that declaration I, I believe you will be giving slips all of you make sure you collect a slip you're going to feel it legibly and then are they returning back to their seats someone advise me okay now all of you in concert please move to my left which is your right let's celebrate them as they go all of them there will be a few counselors who will receive you make sure you pick your slip on your way going y'all are celebrate them we're almost done very quickly very quickly celebrate them as they go hallelujah now listen please listen um I know that I, I may not be able to see Bishop now because of the people, but I want you to know that I am honored and really blessed to visit Yola again and for this platform that the Lord has provided. I want to thank you sincerely, Bishop Sir, and your precious wife, alongside the team of elders, all of the people who have helped to make my stay a profitable one, even though a brief one. We had wonderful moments today with Bishop and I want to appreciate every servant of God who has come here to honor this meeting. All who have come, politicians, thank you so, so much. Yola, I love you. May the Lord lift you. And all through the remaining part of this conference, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that it will be a build up from this and it will go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. And for the members of this church particularly, in the name of Jesus, may you experience the grace of God. And listen, let me encourage you. Um, I just felt a need to do this. Please, I know that there are several people who have come from different places. It's usually not my culture to do this, but I want to encourage you. I want you to ensure and to see to it that your seed is part of this conference. Already, I know what God has told me to sow as a seed, even though I'm a guest minister who came. I know what God has put in my heart and I'm going to be communicating that with Bishop. I didn't have to tell you, but I'm only saying it to let you know that this is not about, um, there, there's no manipulation. I want to advise every man of God. I want to advise everyone here. Please do well to make sure that there is a seed and a sacrifice that goes in honor to this conference. Let's stand by Bishop and lift up his hands and see to it that the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God, and all that concerns this ministry comes to pass. Sir, again, I am truly grateful. Ma, I am grateful. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, 
We believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.